Inserting a chart into PowerPoint is very easy and if you've done the Excel training that is also on School WA or you've used Microsoft Excel then you'll be very familiar with this because PowerPoint actually uses the same engine for charting as Excel. Let's look at the different options so I can come up into the insert menu and you can see I have the insert chart option or I also have the ability for any new slide that is using one of the layouts you can see that I have the insert chart icon. Let's click on that. So this will be familiar to anyone who's used Microsoft Excel. On the left hand side we have a series of chart types and then within those chart types I can choose the specific design. So for example if I was to do a pie chart it automatically moves the right hand side to the pie area and then I can choose what that part wants to look at like. Do I want it to be in 3D? Do I want to have a pie of a pie? Or do I want it to be exploded? So I'm going to have a pie in 3D and then click OK. What it's now doing is actually loading up a copy of Excel. And here Excel has just popped up. And you'll see that it's already put in some very simple numbers for me. And the chart has been created. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to click on the chart. And I'm just going to resize it slightly. There we go. And now the Excel has disappeared. So I'm going to click on the chart again. I can right click and click edit data. Or I can also go up into the ribbon and I also have the same option up there. When I click on edit data then the Excel pops up. So the great thing about the way PowerPoint uses Excel is it creates a very small file within PowerPoint. So even though I have an Excel embedded into PowerPoint the only information that is within it is this chart. As I actually change the information here, so this is for the first quarter of sales is the example it's given, so let's use that. As I change this, so I'm going to have 10, you can see the chart on the right hand side is adjusting. Let's go for a 35 there and wow, it's just adjusting in real time. Once I'm happy with that, all I just need to do is just close the Excel and there I have my chart. Now I've got a lot of formatting options available to me. The easiest way is to come up into a ribbon and to choose what sort of colors I want it to look like. Now remember these colors are actually based on the template that we have chosen. It's very blue and that is because the actual design of this section, if I just click on the design, we looked at this in earlier videos, you can see that the colors here are actually very blue. If I did want to have more colors available I could use some of these other options but it does actually change the design of the slides. Let's just click away. So perhaps I want to have greens. If you're not completely happy with that and you do want to change the colors and this is covered again in the Excel you can right click and then just change the fill here. So perhaps I want a red Another thing I might want to do is I might want to change the chart type. So having put it in a pie, do you know what? I actually would rather look at it in a clustered cylinder view. So select it and click OK and it changes the view. Or perhaps I want to have it as a bar chart. Here we go. So lots of different options then changing the specific chart type once I've got the data in there. But I'm going to go back to the pie chart and the original formatting. The final piece we could just look at is the chart layouts. So at the moment I have the legend on the right hand side and the title at the top. But I might want to change that. I might want to have it all at the top of the pie chart. I might want to have it with the percentages shown. Just the legend without a title. So a number of different options available. Again, if I just want to go back to the original, I can of course select the individual items and also manually delete them. There we go. So an introduction to adding a chart to a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. It uses the Microsoft Excel engine. You do have to have Excel installed into your laptop to enable you to use this. But generally, schools, offices, 
if they have Microsoft PowerPoint, they will also have Excel installed as is part of a suite. Give it a go.